Hi everyone, how are you? It is B. I'm here to give you a quickie random daily with B. We are going to go right ahead and get into the reading. Something told me to do this. I uh, just want to let everybody know um, this week already I have got several confirms from my weekly readings. So you might want to go back to that reading and see if uh, any of those things that I said this week are already coming true. I had a turn, I have a 24 hour turnaround for me uh, for the water signs and the air signs. Both of them are coming up pretty, pretty accurately for me, for my friends, for my family. So uh, you just might want to go back there and check it because it appears that that weekly reading was probably going to be some sort of a prediction for about two to three days, 48, 72 hours out. Let's get into this reading, everyone. Please put your energy into the deck as I shuffle. What types of answers do you need going on right now? This is timeless. It can be for whatever day you come to it. I'm just going to post it. I'm feeling a lot of intense and tense energy as well. Let's see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and stop. And I'm going to cut the deck. And I'm going to put six cards, or no, I'm going to put three cards. They want me to use six cards, but I'm going to use three cards to start. Okay? First card is the Hermit. Very, very interesting. This was the first card in um, the weekly reading for, I want to say, fire or air. This is Virgo energy. Again, I will say it again. Find out what house the sun is in right now in your natal chart. What house is the current transiting sun affecting for you? Is it your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth? What house is Virgo for you? There needs to be research here for some reason. Something needs to be looked into. Something needs to be addressed. Something needs to get done. There needs to be a decision, a wise decision based off of evidence. This is inquiry, asking questions as well. This is a nine. This may have something to do with foreign people, foreign lands, people, politics, the occult, legal, law. This can be a physician. Some of you might be dealing with physicians right now, which are really, really a big aspect of the sun being in Virgo. So physicians, healers, counselors, it's coming up here. And I'll pull in the psychic downloads as we go. What's the second card? The three of cups. So there is some sort of celebration coming up here. This could be a celebration with a Virgo person. Perhaps they're having a birthday. Maybe this Virgo person is having a birthday party for some of you. For others of you out there, this is a celebration, soulless, healing, finally being able to say, hey, we're going to be able to get through this. There's some good news coming in, really good news coming in for some people out there. This is also a, a social get together. This is Gemini energy. This is contracts, negotiations, agreements, short distance travel, siblings, anything having to relate with this. So you might have a sibling that is a Virgo. You're celebrating their birthday or you just celebrated their birthday. This could be seeing a, seeing a physician, short distance travel. Everything I say counts here. Someone, I'm seeing these pumpkins here. So some of you are out shopping for pumpkins. Um, I know Halloween is coming up. So some of you out there might be... Um, Picking pumpkins or starting a pumpkin patch or something about pumpkins is coming up here as well. You might even call somebody your pumpkin. Hi, pumpkin. You know what I mean? It's just like one of those things. Uh, let's see what the third card is. The Fool. So as it relates to the Fool card, someone is free from a situation. Someone is ready to um, let all their hair down, so to speak. Some of you may have just gotten your hair done. Okay. So something's going on here. Hiking. Uh, someone is ready to fly. Is that an REO Speedwagon song? It's time for me to fly. So something could be coming up regarding that. There might be some changes coming up again with the airlines. So just be aware of that as well. This could also be uh, someone who is uh, part of the LGBTQ community as well. Uh, they tend to be uh, very fashionable and they're strutting their stuff, so to speak. Okay, it doesn't have to be LGBTQ, but when I see this, I do feel a very uh, flamboyant, fun, lighthearted energy, and that's the way that's the way I see my friends that are LGBTQ. So anyway, 
um, that is coming up here. So that might be for some of you out there. You're celebrating something. You're releasing yourself from something. You feel lighter. Some of you may have lost weight as well. But the very interesting thing here is someone is going back. Someone is going to see their sister or someone is going to see, um, see somebody that's healed. They were in the hospital and now they're healed and now they're someone is excited to go see their family member. That could be, this could even be veterinarian energy. So there could be something going on regarding veterinarian energy as well. Um, maybe a celebration, uh, maybe research into veterinary medicine for some reason, but that's coming in. So what's going on with the fool here? Ah, the high priestess. So the high priestess is coming in as an Aquarius or a Pisces. Their name starts with the letter B or J. Their last name begins with the letter B or J, but it's definitely coming up here. This is the second house. This is all about self-value. This is all about money, possessions, you know, money you, that you make, money that you earn. Okay. So some there's some sort of secret going on here with this fool energy. Someone wants to get out of a situation and they're being quiet about it. They're not letting anybody know that they're about to join some other group. You know, what it feels like to me is that there's a group of people here that want this person by them, but there's like another group that doesn't want them. And it's almost like this fool is like, you know what? I'm going to focus on the people that care about me. I'm going to focus on the people that are on my side. This is magnetic energy, something very significant happening right before, right after the new moon that's coming up in Libra. Okay, so I just wanna make everyone aware of that. This is also psychic energy. Someone is really excited to speak with a psychic, talk with a psychic. Something like that is coming up here as well. There's a need to see the black and the white of a situation. Yep, I knew it. What's happening here, remember what I said, Someone wants to go to a group of people that really, truly care about them, really want to be around them. They want to be with people that understand them because look at this fool. He's looking right up at the three of swords. That's what this is. This fool is going towards people he loves because he has been hurt by another group of people that kept secrets from him. And it could be a she as well. If I say he or she, please understand, could be either. All right. It's just what I see in the cards. What's the other card? Ah, the lovers. So something is going on here where there's a relationship that needs to heal right now. Maybe this relationship needs a time out. There could have been social interference with this love relationship. This could also be you find out about a friend who is on the rocks with their significant other. That could be. This is Gemini energy, by the way. So a Gemini might be partnering with a Virgo person. But what I'm seeing here is that there's a secret and there might be third party interference here. I think your best bet in this particular situation, everyone, is that if you have an ex that's trying to get back into your life secretly, you better let them know, especially if you're seeing somebody right now, you better let them know um, that you're with somebody. I mean, respectfully and honestly, but, you know, it's important because if you're hiding this from somebody, that's not good. That is not good at all. But what also what this could be is this could be that there's this level of frustration, pain and anguish because it's so interesting. It's like one minute somebody is really, really quiet and then the next minute they're just really, really boisterous. It's almost like they're bipolar. You can't trust them. You can't trust them and they might be in, in the social group. You know, this could be Someone in a social group is secretly seeing someone else in that social group. And they might be dating somebody else's ex, but they haven't told them yet. 
that's just what I'm seeing here. What's the next card? This was fated to happen, whatever it is. This was entirely, this was totally fated. This is the breakup of a social group. This is the breakup of some sort of celebration as well. This might need to be, uh, you need to go back to the drawing board for some of you. you. Might have something related with family as well. So there's a family issue here where there's been some deceit, some lies, some trickery. And it got found out. Somebody was doing some research. It got found out. But for those of you out there that have a loved one coming out of the hospital, it might have been related to the lungs. And now they're back home and you're celebrating them being back home. They may have also had a, um, pulmonary hypertension. That could be pulmonary embolism, something like that. Is there a card? In the end, the wish is granted. So whatever you put out there, whatever wish you wanted, it has been granted. So don't give up hope yet. Whatever it is that you're thinking about right now, don't give up hope yet. Because something is going on here that is actually going to turn out in your favor. Whatever this delay, this separation, this frustration, this trickery, whatever this is, don't worry about it. Universe will take care of it. You don't need to worry about revenge. You don't need to worry about... Um, I hope that person gets theirs. Just let universe take care of it. You will be rewarded. So you worry about you. You don't worry about anybody else. You just worry about you. Get your job done. Get your things done. Let's see what the energy oracle has to say, and then we'll be we'll be off. But we do have a Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo energy here, very very strongly. Action. This is the Gemini right here. Gemini's got this in their um, in their reading for the week. Action. That's Gemini. So a Gemini is taking action somewhere, doing something. They want to go. They want to move. They want to make it happen. They want to regain their power or they want the power. They want to move forward. They don't want to quit. There's no quitting. The Geminis are not going to quit. So if you're a Gemini or you know a Gemini, they're not going to quit. Just letting you know that, okay? Next card, all tied up. You know, this could be this energy right over here, all tied up with this High Priestess and this Three of Swords. You know, the thing is, is that someone may secretly love somebody else that's already attached. That is coming up here. And they're just, they're all tied up on the inside. They're, they're, they're upset. This is a 23. This may have been somebody that you used to date, you were with, and you want to reach out to them. You want to communicate. You want to communicate with them. Could be a Gemini, could be any sign, but I'm picking up Gemini. The thinking man, thinking man, right here, the hermit. This might be the Virgo that's doing a lot of thinking right now, or the thinking man could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and they could be doing a lot of research right now. Looking into things, finding out, do I want, do I want to buy this piece of jewelry for this person? That might be what it is. Okay. Do I want to buy this crystal? Do I want to buy this stone? This is a 46. This is all about stability and creation. Somebody needs stability before they can create. That's what's coming up here. Contract. Someone is in a contract right now. Someone is about to sign a contract. This is all about legal and law. Legal and law. This is Lady Justice. This is that Libra energy. This is the number six. So again, we have creation from a contract. Someone might be excited about a contract, signing a contract, going to school, acing an exam. I'm busy. I can't make it. I can't make it to the party. But the thing is, when I look at all of these, it looks to me like someone is taking action towards a situation 
that is tied up, that's stalemated, that's not going anywhere. And they're going to think about this long and hard, and they are going to come through with an agreement, a contract, a fair deal, a compromise. This is moving forward, whatever it is. Angel of love. And you want to know why? Because love rules the day, period. All right, everyone. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.